Hello everyone, welcome back to We Know What You Like, Lucia here. Today going to be watching episode, season 3, episode 5, The Flayed, and um, yeah, of Stranger Things. And y'all, 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 <laughs> last week's episode was so fucking good, holy fuck. I, like I'm thinking about it. Fuck. Anyways, um, they literally have an army, the of the the undead army, so to speak. I, I feel bad for all those people. Um, it looks like they're all still connected, but they can pay, maybe put some of them on lockdown, so to speak. Soldiers, like, oh, you killed my demi dogs. What about my demi humans? Kill them, motherfuckers. And it's harder. It's harder to kill people considering. Um, there's some uh, emotional connection. Like, look at look at Billy. Eleven. They li Billy literally said she could have killed me. Billy, uh, maybe um, Eleven didn't because literally that's Max's brother. And I feel so bad for Billy. He's like, I tried fighting it. Is that my fault? And I'm like, oh fuck. <sighs> so my theory once more, I like. At this point, him dying would be putting him out of his misery because. Again, he, he's an asshole, but I don't think he really wanted to kill anyone. And um, him doing this would would break him more if he were survived. Like, let's say, for example, if this thing somehow gets out of Billy and he survives, I can see him actually killing himself because he didn't want to live with that guilt. But I personally think he's going to die. Maybe to protect Max, um, I can see that like his one last act of brotherly, um, first and last perhaps, brotherly uh, devotion or thing. Um, Erica was super funny, uh, Lucas's sister, <laughs> but I have my money, but I have my ice cream. She's like, yeah, I'll do it for you, but like, pay the fuck up for life, for lifers. Yo, doggo. Love you. Look over there. Sorry. Anywho, we're about to watch episode five. I'm just super excited. We're gonna get started right now. Your mom's not gonna be able to find us if we're dead in a Russian elevator. Points. Hey. What if we climbed out? Don't do it. Did they not watch Resident Evil? Just joking. <laughs> saying about climbing? Oh god. No, I'm not afraid of heights, but my ass would fall. Hawkins PD, hands in the air. Oh, there's that one dude. Don't make me say it again! Hopper! Rush. Gotta get paid back. You busted your ass, Hop. Oh, Let's go, Hop. Drop the gun. I'm gonna count to three. One. He's gonna two, turn around and get him, hit him. Three. Well, he didn't turn around, but I knew something was gonna happen. God damn it, again! Again, Hopper! At least he beat up Larry. shit about cars. Stop. <laughs> He's like you dumbass. This friend of yours lived in Illinois. It's not really a friend, it's more like an acquaintance. We don't just have to stop Billy, we have to stop the mind flare. How in the hell do we do that? I don't know. Maybe Elle does. She can't talk right now. What are they still doing in there? Yes. <laughs> Oh, 
are you gonna do so well? Ooh, it's about to break. What is it gonna do though? What is it gonna release? Oh. Is it acid? Good thing you didn't break that. You still wanna drink that? I mean, I said break, I meant drink. Holy mother of God. Ooh. Well, how you can get out there? Looking at you, roast beef. Hey, hey. At least he doesn't look stupid What's in that fucking point? outfit. Well, that proves it. That proves my theory. She's flayed, just like Billy. Flayed? The mind flayer. He flays people, takes over their mind. Once they do that, they basically become him. If they're all connected, we have to assume there are more. Zombies. Billy was doing something to her. <laughs> She was scared. She was screaming. <laughs> Bad screams. What's a good scream? Max said, doesn't matter. I'm sorry. <laughs> Who is Heather? She's a lifeguard at the pool. Heather Holloway? Tom. Mm, you see? Fucking Nancy was great, Jonathan. You dumb bitch. You just keep your mouth shut, are you? He's just happy with his slurpee. That man in there, I know he doesn't look at but he is one of the most dangerous men in the world. He's, uh, <laughs> murdered many children. What? Yeah. Me? What? Do me a favor and move your lover's quarrel elsewhere, okay? Oh, oh, oh. This? Not a lover's quarrel, pal. Spare me! What <laughs> is your problem? Please, stop talking! No! We have had a very long day. We have been shot at, nearly blown up, walked God knows how many miles in a hundred degree heat, stole a car, all while being chased by this gigantic psychopath, all so we could bring him to you. Because somehow you're the closest person who speaks Russian, which I can't believe, but that doesn't matter because unfortunately we're here. So if you Let's don't go. mind, put that thing away, stop behaving like a jackass and ask him what he's doing that's making my magnets fall off my damn fridge. Yes. Please. Kitai? Oh, let's, let's go, Steve. No, never mind. Oh. Hey, you bought it. Never mind. I always knew you'd ask for Oh, hey, hey. Let's go, Steve. Love Dude. the hair in the moment. You did it. You want to fight. <laughs> you did. Good job, see. Fucking people always fucking mess with shit they know nothing about. You dumb bitches. He sit back there. So are y'all gonna talk about it? Get out in the open. At least his hair looks better this season. You know, those things that I, I said know. yesterday. I just look forward to you never doubting me again. <laughs> I like the new look, by the way. It's cool. Thanks. It is very cute look. I'm not even gonna lie. Oh, goddamn. Ooh, all these people are gonna turn, probably, or are they just dead? Probably gonna turn. So like, honestly, how the fuck do they explain this? Come on, Jonathan, prove yourself. You've been such on a back burner this episode. Oh fuck. Where are you going? I hit the so fucking horror themed. Look at you hear this music? It's gonna pop up behind her. No, oh, I was wrong. Marco! Motherfucker! Cause they all ooh, goddamn. They all I guess that's uh one of the cons of being all connected, right? Go 
like, how many of that did it kill? Just those two? Did the other ones were affected? Ooh, landed on that bitch. So what exactly? Oh fuck. They're gonna come back up. Is he gonna rise? Come on, will the rise? Uh, Eleven, pay the fuck attention. Is he gonna explode? Attack you, bro. And it's even bigger because rats, it was like that much, and humans, right? Yep. Yep, I thought so. You better move, Jonathan, it's gonna get your ass. Make it cold. Or hot, I mean. Oh, is it gonna fuse, come together? It'd be a pretty big piece, actually. I better fucking run. Fucking twisters over here. Wind. Oh god. I better fucking run. Yo, it's fucking dark. So this episode definitely um, brought me, not down, brought me down. It more like leveled my emotions f from the previous episode. Um, but it was so many important things that were going on. Finally, we got uh, the Nancy and Jonathan, well, Jonathan finally being on board with Nancy shenanigans. Um, Nancy Drew, I mean, like they say that as an insult, but I say that as a fuck yeah, Nancy Drew. Uh, you did the damn thing um but these parties are finally coming together we have um uh oh my god hopper and joyce and alexi uh all of that was really 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 funny um hopper once again fucking love that man um they went to go see see murray and <laughs> murray just likes to ship people i guess i don't fucking know it's like this lover's quarrel and this and then the previous season with jonathan and nancy oh y'all aren't together how's the pull out he just likes to ship people i mean same so hey we're sheep shippers um the only thing is just that unfortunately uh joyce and hopper don't know about the alien shits going on back over there because well, fucking shit it would be over there back home um steve and company there they discovered inside the lab the little roaring machine and it looks like they're about to pop open that fucking gate and i'm like you dumb bitches you dumb fucking bitches um steve finally fucking want to fight that gooey ooey monster shit, ugh, it's so gross. And I figured it'd be better because like if the, as a rat, when it went, you know, when it died, it was like this big. When a human host would die, it, I'd imagine it'd be even bigger. Now, my question is how come it had only affected those two, um, Tom and I forgot his name, but the blonde dude who worked also in the paper, how come it had only affected those two? Now, of course, we don't know if it affected the others, but how come only them two? Like, did the other human hosts die? Because what happens to one happens to the other, right? Right? So, I mean, it doesn't make sense that, um, John, not Jonathan, that Billy would die because he has the actual smoke monster in him. But what about Heather? Did she die? Or does she also have a smoke monster in her? I don't think so. So I'm not quite sure. 
how come if the others died or not now them killing the people in the hospital was that them actually killing them because they're supposed to bring the monster to the the people to the monster in that one little high abandoned building thing right so are they just dead dead i'm not quite sure um at first i was kind of wondering how come the lights would only move like how come like they didn't notice the lights messing up and throughout the hospital one because hospitals are fucking big and then two it kind of makes sense because look at um like in season one and season two whenever the creatures would move it would all, or just like any sort of communication would happen lights would happen as they were moving throughout the areas like when like joyce and hopper in the upside down the lights would go flicker in the our world in the direction they were going so okay that makes sense but man this season is just like a horror se uh, season it's pretty cool i'm not gonna lie but this was definitely like a setup season how are you gonna fucking stop right then i don't know i really want to watch the next episode i might actually i don't know yet i still have to do some other filming but i really want to watch the next episode but regardless, I love Joyce, I love Hopper, I love I love Nancy, Jonathan, fucking finally. Gotta go take my dogs outside. Um, but yeah, next till next time this is Lucia with We Know What You Like and bye.